there guys and welcome back. On this week's show we're going to be restoring a hand plane. That's right, restoring a hand plane, or at least attempting to restore a hand plane. Um, I had a co-worker give me this plane, and I gotta tell you, it is in some seriously bad shape. Um, I'll just give you a shot here of the plane. You can see the bottom of it is really pitted, and uh, it's really rusted out. The sides are bad, the, uh, oh, the iron's bad. I don't know if the frog is bad. I haven't taken it apart. The um, the chip breaker, I mean, I don't know if I can even get it away from the, the iron at this point. But I'm going to try. And I'd like to say I'm not an expert at this. I've just been doing some research and reading up on it and all that sort of thing. And uh, I'm going to learn along through this process. And I thought I would bring you guys along for that ride. So what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to disassemble this mess and see exactly what kind of a mess we're looking at. Well, I can tell you this plane wouldn't cut hot butter in a heat wave. And let me just show you that there. Look at the bottom of this plane. This plane has seen some absolute horrific abuse and uh, it says footprint here on the front. I can't read anything on the iron at all. Um, I mean, this, this, the, the bottom of this, look at this. This is absolutely crazy. I don't know if I'll ever be able to restore this, but I'm willing to try just for the sake of uh, learning the process. And if I have a success, well then great, we've got ourselves a great learning tool on this video. And if it's a failure, well then, eh, what the heck. So we've also got one of the handles here that's broken. I'm going to have to remake this. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to repair this. I'm just going to take this right out of here and make a new piece. But let's just take this apart and see exactly how bad this is. Well, like I said, it's... It's seen some abuse. I mean, a lot of this stuff is seized up. I don't even know. There we go. Maybe not seized. Maybe that's just adjust it too tight. But uh, this has seen some damage as well. And of course, some rust damage here uh, as well on the front. This is very badly damaged up and chipped. Um, I'm going to have to straighten that up. The mechanism itself is even gritty. It's hard to move. So we'll put that in our little container here. And uh, here we've got, uh, we've got pieces falling out of it already. This is off of the frog. And this is for the, uh, the blade alignment. And it looks like that piece is just busted and, and rotted right off. Uh, that's going to require a new rivet for sure. Um, yeah, that's, that's not good, but I'll have to rivet that back on there somehow. This just gets better. Okay, no worries. Uh, anyway, we'll move right along. And here we've got the iron, and, uh, it's, like I said, in pretty rough shape. And the chip breaker is also pretty rough. I don't know if you can see that. That's uh, that's not the prettiest. I mean, I mean, this is. Why the heck would you even have a plane if you're going to treat it like this? But anyway, I got it for free, so what do I expect? Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep disassembling this. And I'm going to take all the handles off, and uh, once I get it all apart and get all the pieces into this tub. I'm going to be soaking it for a couple of days. So once I get this apart, I'll come back and I'll show you exactly what it is I'm going to soak it in. Well, I've taken all of the plane completely apart and I have the wooden pieces and the brass pieces uh, in this little container. And I'll put those aside because, uh, like I said, they're in pretty rough shape. I'll probably have to remake those. But in this container, I have the rusted mess that somebody at one point in time called a number four plane. 
And uh, I got this little trick off a guy um, that I have some contact with online uh, who tried two different methods of cleaning rust off of tools and one was vinegar and the other was lemon juice and um, I have vinegar and that's what I'm going to try so for this I'm going to pour it into this container uh, completely cover the pieces and I'm going to let it sit for a few days and let the vinegar really do its work so we'll just pour this in here and like I said you want to completely submerge these pieces um, and let the vinegar do its job. Uh, I, I, I really don't know how this is going to turn out. I mean, I didn't realize how badly this plane was gone before I cracked it open. But that's okay. Like I said, it was a learning process. So there we go. We have all the pieces uh, submerged in the vinegar. And um, you can see how bad how bad they really are here especially here in the iron you can see how terribly rusted that is and um, said we're just gonna put all the pieces in here we've got the chip breaker the frog we've got the the sole we've got our broken piece um, you know everything that is metal and corroded is in this container I'm gonna put a cover on it and we're going to come back to this in a couple of days and just see exactly what kind of progress our project is making. Well, we're in a little bit of a holding pattern while we're waiting for the vinegar to do its job. But what I like to do is you can see these brass parts here. I mean, they're pretty gummed up. But I think that with a Dremel and a little bit of uh, polish on a felt uh, wheel with the Dremel, I think we can get these back to some uh, form of a luster. So I'm going to go ahead and try that and see how I make out with it. Okay, well there's a learning uh, experience. The polisher with the Dremel, useless. Um, but the brass brush um, worked really, really well at bringing this up. So um, I'll go ahead and take that brass brush to the rest of the brass pieces and bring them back up to a nice shine. And there you go. The brass pieces are polished. And uh, I have to say I'm quite surprised at at how they they came out. I mean, um, there is some marring and knocking in this, and there's some gouges here from the previous owner, but I mean, all in all, these pieces came out fantastic. So I think now I'm gonna move on to making a new handle here. Um, so let's move on to making a new tote. Well, I'd like to make the new wooden parts out of uh, a walnut maple mixture. Um, I'm kind of thinking walnut on the outside of the handle with a maple stripe down the center. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mill up some walnut and uh, I'm going to laminate the boards together and get them ready so that they can both be turned and cut. Um, it'll have to wait till tomorrow once the glue dries, but at least I can get the lamination done. Well, I've got the pieces here for my glue up, and uh, I'll just go ahead and apply the, uh, the glue, clamp them together, and uh, you can see there that should give a, a really nice contrast for the handles. And with that, uh, I guess I'll wait now until tomorrow uh, when I can unclamp this, uh, this lamination. I'll clean it up and then I'll cut my blanks um, for the, uh, the new wooden parts for the plane. Well, there seems to be quite a bit of waiting around in this project, which uh, I don't know what I was thinking, why I didn't think there would be, but anyway. 
while I was waiting, uh, I've gone ahead and made a template for the actual handle um, at the back. So once the uh, glue up is done and I have my blank cut, I'll be transferring this pattern down onto that blank and uh, drilling it for the proper angles that I need in order to get the threaded rod through and uh, cutting it, shaping it, etc. And once I get that handle done, uh, then I'll move over to the lathe and of course uh, I'll be turning that one. Well, we've got our blank that I glued up yesterday and uh, I guess the next thing to do now would be to transfer um, the profile of our handles onto this particular uh, blank and as well I'll be cutting a blank for the lathe for the front knob of the plane. Well I've got the uh, blank for the handle, the front knob on the plane set in the lathe here so I'll just go ahead and uh, turn this to duplicate the uh, existing damaged front knob. And with that the new front handle is uh, turned and I'll just give you a look at that. Um, I've put just one quick coat of Danish oil on there just to show you the contrast and bring out the color of the, the walnut. So there's our front handle of the plane. It's returned and ready to go and uh, of course I've tested uh, the fit for the brass insert in the top and it's it's all nice and tight and all's good. So we're going to move on now to the rear handle of the plane. Well the handle is cut and uh, now it's just a matter of routing the profile and of course uh, a lot of hand sanding. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and see you after that. Alright so the rear handle is done. Let me just show this to you guys here. This is the new rear handle and I've shaped it all. Um, I just want to point something out to you guys and that is if you're going to use uh, the router table with a bearing guided bit as I did here I took off the major uh, material with the round over bit and then forever hand sanding but make sure that you put a plug right here because if you don't put this plug in that top hole uh, that accepts the brass part in your handle. If you don't put that plug, your bearing of your router bit sinks into that hole and it's going to gouge the top of your handle so you won't get this this nice curve like that. You'll get like a divot in it. So something to keep in mind um, if you're going to be using a router to take off the majority of the material. So here we have all of our parts still soaking in the vinegar and you can see that the vinegar is very discolored. Um, it's, well, it's doing its job apparently. And uh, I'm not going to do a full cleanup right now. I just sort of want a progress report of how we're doing because the rust was so bad on these pieces. So this here is the chip breaker. And we'll just show you here. If you just give this a rub, this is just with my finger just like that and then we'll just put it back in the vinegar here you can see how well that vinegar is doing its job um, that rust is is gone off of there and same with all of this because uh, I can't remember what type of acid is is in vinegar but if we give this a rub just like this and then we'll just bath it back in the vinegar. You can see what a substantial difference this has made in the iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this steel wool and just clean these pieces up a little bit. And um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do, uh, or I'm not expecting, I should say, a full cleaning. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to have to soak some of these again but we're going to find out shortly, aren't we? So uh, I'll go ahead and hit all these with the steel wool and let's see how we make out. Well, the only thing that comes to mind here is the word wow. Um, that vinegar really does a fantastic job of eating away at that uh, rust and getting this back 
to the way it should look. Now this could still use a bit of polishing and I'll probably take care of that. And of course this edge here of the chip breaker has to be flattened. But holy crap, what a difference. So um, I guess success on the experiment with the vinegar. And uh, guys, you got to try this. I'm going back to finish cleaning some of this stuff. Okay, I, I don't want to harp on this too much, but let me just show you an image here of what the sole of this plane looked like before soaking it in the vinegar. And there it is. Look at that. That looks like crap. Uh, I honestly thought it was beyond all help. But guys, let me just show you this. That is unbelievable. I'm still going to have to uh, mill this and, and flatten it and, you know, with some uh, wet sanding and whatever. But from what it was to what it is now, holy crow, this is spectacular. And with that, we're going to call a timeout on this particular uh, project. Uh, we're running into a bit of overtime here. So I think it warrants uh, part two. So that's what we're going to do. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you again next week with yet another woodworking video.